In this video, we're going to talk about managing objects within Salesforce. And objects are similar to fields in the sense that you can take the same sort of actions. You can create custom objects to track information that wouldn't have a place otherwise in standard objects. You can edit objects to change their behavior and other characteristics. Um, and you can delete objects. Now, when you delete a custom object, there are greater implications than when you delete a custom field. Even if you undelete and recover that object, some of the information is not recovered. So make sure to look at that as we'll review later in this video. Also, the same rules apply. So when you delete a custom object, you have up to 15 days to undelete and recover that object. Otherwise, it's erased permanently. Standard and custom objects are similar to standard and custom fields in the sense that the same type of limitations apply. So with standard objects, you have limited ability to change their behavior or other characteristics. You can rename standard objects, but you can't delete them. With custom objects, you can add, change, delete, and otherwise manipulate as you'd like, with the exception of objects installed within a managed package, which may carry some restrictions. Okay, so we're gonna create a custom object. I'm gonna create one to track job postings in my organization. And similar to fields, objects have both the label and a name. The label is what users will see, and the object name is what's referenced in Apex and Visual Force code as well as through the API, such as the data loader. Description is used entirely for documentation. Every record must have a name. So for instance, with account, the account name must be entered for every new record created. For case, that's actually an auto number, so case number is automatically generated by Salesforce. You can pick between the two. For this application, we're going to stick with name. Allow reports will allow the object to be reported on, assuming that the user has the corresponding permissions to do so. And allow activities will allow users to create tasks and events associated to records of this object type. Track field history we'll talk about in a moment. If I set the object to in development, that means that users, even if they have the corresponding permissions to see the object in the records, they won't see it in, until it's set to deployed or unless they have administrative privileges. And I'm going to check launch new tab. Now without a tab, I'd have the object and I could, put, I could push data in through the API or some other means, but there wouldn't be a way for users to access that data. So the tab exposes the records within the object to the users. I'll pick a style and I will set this to default on. I won't include the tab in the applications, but I'll go ahead and save this. And now you can see here that my object is created. I have no defined custom fields yet. You can also see that the object tab has been created. Now if I go and I look, and here we are, so here's my tab, and I can go in and create records. But since no custom fields are defined, that's all of the information that's captured right there. Now looking back at the object, I can define custom fields, I can edit the page layout, and I can also edit the object itself. So if I wanted to change the object label here, you know what, I decided to change this and call it career postings, then I could do so. And if I had, you know, some sort of development or integration that happened against this object, I could leave the object name as is, and that would leave all of that existing code and infrastructure working while still changing the name as it appears to users. And here it is. Now you can also delete custom objects and you can see here that there's a long laundry list of side effects, if you will, when you delete a custom object. There's all of these things as discussed here. You can still recover the object, but unlike a custom field where the recovery process is pretty straightforward, there's a lot more that you lose by deleting a custom object. 